Hey everyone, my name is Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at another four unique discontinued knives. The theme I chose for this video is knives with unique handles or unique handle features. Uh, the models that we're going to be going through is the Kershaw ET, right there. The Spyderco Meerkat, and I have two different uh, blade shapes. The Buck Buckmaster. So that is a very well-known knife, if you know buck knives. And the Dalton AFO with a hollow handle. So let's take a look, or let's go from the right to the left and go through each of these knives with unique handles. So first off is the Kershaw ET. Now what makes this knife unique is it, well, let's actually move these out of the way so that the focus is all on this knife. So what makes this knife unique is it actually came with a training DVD on how to open and close the knife. And that's not exactly usual um, for knives to come with a DVD on how to open and close it. Well, what you do is you take your left hand, or I guess you can do this in reverse, but I take my left hand and put it right on that text strain on the handle, take my right hand and push down on this little ball and you can open and close the knife very quickly. You can of course use the opening in the blade kind of like a thumb hole and open it up as well one-handed but the main mechanism for opening and closing is that little ball. Now you do need to be careful when opening and closing this knife because if you put your thumb too far in, you can see right there, that blade can take a bite out of your thumb. So you don't want that to happen, especially because it goes pretty quick opening and closing. Now I do believe this actually has a manufactured date on it. So right here, see if you guys can see that. So March of 06. So 2006 was when this knife was manufactured. This knife can be locked in the closed position. As you can see there, off is, you can open it and close it, on it locks it closed. So no opening or closing the knife. So very cool there. Let's go to the next knives. Next we have the Spyderco Meerkat, and I'm actually going to close these off screen and show you how these are open and closed. So we have what looks like exactly the same knives. They are basically except for the blade shape. Let's open this one, opens normally, but then how do you close it? No liner lock, no back lock. You actually put two fingers right here your thumb here, and slide the scale over. And you can release the blade. Really, it's a modified back lock. As you can see here, when you push the scale over, it brings that back lock up, but it's actually sliding this whole scale over to push that back lock up. So, very cool feature. And that is on both of these. This one's a little bit more unique because it features the S-shaped blade. And then this one is fully serrated. Spyderco has done some sprint runs of this knife. I believe in a orange handle. And that was in the past couple of years. Um, but these are much older than that. Very cool knives. And I believe... These actually come with directions on how to, yep, directions on how to open and close, or cl how to close the knives. So you know the knife is somewhat complicated if it has to come with directions on how to use the lock, or how to close it. So that is the Spyderco Meerkat. I know I've made some videos on this, as well as the Kershaw ET, if you're wanting to see those. Um, I will, I'll link them in the description below so that you can watch those. Next is the Buck Buckmaster. 
Now what makes this knife unique is these detachable spikes on the handle, or on the guard I should say. Now this is a hollow handle survival knife made around the time of the Rambo movies. So you can see there, and this is all metal, very heavy. So you can store those spikes in there. This originally came with a compass in that, um, I guess this is called a pommel, as well as the grappling hook rope attachment point. And that's actually what these spikes are for, is to use it as a grappling hook. Of course, they did issue lots of warnings saying using a knife as a grappling hook is dangerous, which you probably never want to actually use this. The other features of this knife are the um, uh, Bowie style, or yeah, the Bowie style blade and the serrations or the saw back blade. It also does feature the serrations near the tip that are sharpened. Very cool knife. And hopefully all that was in frame because this is one of those knives that I forget that I'm filming um, and I'm looking around the camera th rather than on the camera um, lens. So, awesome knife. I actually use this as a um, thing to hold back my curtains. So I have this standing up in a display and it holds my curtains open during the day. <laughs> uh, it does come with a sheath right here. And it has a sharpening stone actually in the back of the sheath. So rather interesting and a very cool knife. Okay, so lastly, what is the unique knife? Oh wait, I already showed you. Um, it is the Dalton AFO. This is a automatic knife that stands for Armed Forces Only. Same basic design was made by Almar, Benchmade, as well as Dalton, and I believe maybe another manufacturer. But what makes this one a little bit unique is the handle is completely milled through. So you get a huge area that lightens up that handle, and you really don't have many knives that just have that completely ground out. Still, just as strong as any other automatic, if not stronger. Just very cool knife. And Dalton does make some of the strongest automatics. Um, as a comparison, I do have one of these with ram horn handle inserts. So you can see that. This one is just, a, I think, a few years older than this model. I think it's hand ground and all that. But there you go. That is another unique knife. The Dalton AFO. Hollow handle. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I will try to film a few more unique knife videos because I did get a lot of people saying they enjoyed the first one. Um, I, I own a lot of different unique discontinued knives and I actually enjoy making them. Um, let me know how much detail you want me to go into for each if you just want me to kind of show the knife off and unique feature or if you want me to go into more details showing like explain the blade steel all that. Um, I really don't know how detailed you want me to get in some of these videos. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to comment. Um, really, the big thing is commenting. I love when people comment. I don't care if uh, I get more subscriptions or more likes, any of that. I like um, hearing what people have to say, gain feedback. That is key. Um, at least that's what, what I find uh, fun. So anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.